Meanwhile, he was busy on a surer punishment for man. He was making the first woman. Her name was Pandora, which means all gifted, for all of the mortals helped to endow her. Clever Hephaestus shaped her out of clay, and lovely Aphrodite gave her beauty, while Hermes taught her cunning and boldness, and Athena dressed her in lovely clothes. Zeus breathed life into her, and then Hermes led her down to earth, and brought her to Epimetheus, the thoughtless brother of Prometheus, who lived now more or less as a man among men. When Epimetheus saw the beauty of Pandora, he forgot his brother's warning against accepting any gift from Zeus, and fell in love with her at once. Very soon they were married, and they had a daughter called Pyrrha, who married Deucalion, the wisest and most virtuous of all the first men whom Prometheus had fashioned out of clay. But meanwhile, Pandora brought all the evil upon mankind which Zeus had planned. In the house of Epimetheus stood a golden box which Prometheus had left there with strict orders that no one was to open it. Epimetheus told his wife this, but she was so curious and inquisitive that life did not seem worth living until she knew what treasure it was that her husband was hiding from her. So one day, when he was out, Pandora crept quietly to the golden casket and lifted the lid. Then, with a rush and a cry out, came all the elms which beset mankind. Diseases and sorrows, hate, jealousy, lies, theft, cheating, and a hundred others. Terrified at what she had done, Pandora slammed down the lid, but a little voice cried, Let me out too, I am hope. For Prometheus had placed hope there when he shut up the evil things, so that mankind might not suffer quite so much if Zeus had his way.